hi guys welcome back to the youtube channel today let's talk about functions all right guys so i'm gonna start with um, creating a new javascript model let the year be maybe uh 2022 We can pass in here those arguments and uh, then execute whatever we want in here. Let's pretty much just print out. One more thing so whenever you create a function you need to call it to be executed so right now it's in memory but then we are not calling it so how you call it is just by calling it one more thing here not to confuse you i'm gonna change the name of what i added in here okay so these can be any name they don't have to be and they don't specifically need to be the names that you created in the variable right that confuses a lot of people so what is called in here called the function what is called in here let number let it be three and then y then um you're gonna say num one and say sami then call do so sometimes what you can do is a variable uh, call it sum and remember what we talked about remember what we talked about using const and let so this is not gonna change as soon as you declare it here that will never change call that variable see what happens still the same okay so um, moving forward this is pretty much how you will play around with functions so let's talk about another way to write functions as soon as we create a function here i mean we give it a name and then our functions is what's gonna do then what we're gonna do this time around is remember we need to call this function for it to know what's going on so what we do we can write console want to see the results okay sub is then we so to see the difference here um so since we are assigning this whole function in here although this is just looking like a variable we need to give it sign it argument let let's work with the different round and then take not here so what will you do is you just write those brackets and then curly braces okay let me show you what happens here what this means so oh. do you see the uniformity around here so here we were declaring the actual name the keyword function here you don't do that okay so this part is pretty much contained in this part Then before we print, uh, we need to print it. Also, dot log. We don't need that since this is already printing something, so we didn't need to concatenate anything. And then we're gonna call that function. So remember, we said that the way we call this function is 
by adding although this looks like a variable just a variable but it's in actual sense so you need to add those brackets if we print that the result is right there so let's try something with variables this maybe this time round we're gonna print result then remember cutting it that so we're saying the result of the multiplication is multiply this times this so what we're calling we are calling the function within our print so most times sometimes you'll just include this function within something all right so it could be think of this like a web browser and you know somebody wants to multiply like let's say calculator somebody wants to multiply something with something so as soon as they press the equals sign you will execute this function in the back end as soon as somebody presses the button for um multiply okay so that's pretty much it so let's print this and the result is 48 all right so this covers pretty much functions for today i hope you enjoyed the video now these videos really take a lot to um, put together making research and you know to provide excellent work for you guys so please if you consider subscribing um, sharing the video commenting and also giving me feedback on what you want me to talk about in the next video that really helps the channel um by your support we appreciate everything and goodbye see you in the next video